Let's take a look at a key case in tort law for occupier's liability. This case is Wheat v Laken and Co, which was heard in 1996. In this case, the claimant was Mrs Wheat, claiming on behalf of her deceased husband, Mr Wheat, as the administrator of his estate. The defendants were Laken and Co, a brewery that owned the Golfers Arms pub. In this case, the claimants were renting a room at the Golfers Arms pub when the claimant, Mr. Wheat, tried to descend the stairs. He fell down the stairs, hit his head and died. There was no light on the staircase and the handrail did not extend for the full length of the staircase. The room would be rented out by the manager, Mr. and Mrs. Richardson, and the pub was owned by the brewery, Laken & Co. In this case, the courts ruled that the brewery, Laken & Co. were not liable for the injuries to Mr. Wheat. Lord Denning stated that despite the staircase being unlit, it was not classed as dangerous if being used with appropriate care and therefore the brewery company were not liable. However, in this case, there was also another important legal principle, which was looking at the word occupier. The word occupier had not been defined by Parliament through either the 1957 or the 1984 Acts. And so in this case, we get the common law definition that we now use today. The courts in this case ruled that both Laken and Co and the manager were considered to be joint occupiers of the pub. They stated that the word occupier looks at the person who has sufficient degree of control over the premises to put them under a duty of care towards those who come lawfully onto premises. The occupier does not have to have exclusive control. This can be shared and there can be more than one occupier. So had this case have been successful, there could have potentially been two occupiers, the brewery, Laken & Co, and the manager, the Richardsons. This case is really important under the area of tort law for occupiers' liability, looking at both the 1957 and 1904 Act when defining that word occupier. This case can be used in your exams when defining occupier under both Acts. In the scenario, look for who the person in control is and provide evidence to support why you believe that person or people or companies are in control. Remember that liability can be shared, so evidence might suggest that you have more than one occupier in your scenario, similar to this case.